Okay, YouTube, and we're back for our third video of today. I'm trying to build up some inventory in the back or in the backlog, so when I got bigger stuff, I can have an extra week or so. So today is going to be the wine bottle stoppers that I make and sell. So for that, we are going to chuck this in. Just gonna crank this in nice and tight. <clears throat> and then we take this and we'll actually before I do all this, I want to get this wax off of here. Neighbors are ridiculous. Okay. That just, that takes care of getting everything squared off. And now we drill in about an inch or so. Alright. We're only doing the one, so I don't need this anymore. Pull that off. All right, so once that's done, I take this guy, we actually tap the hole. To any machinists out there, I know I'm not doing this right, but it's wood. And once I get it started, you just take it about a half turn, half turn, back a quarter, Half turn, back a quarter, half turn, back a quarter, half turn, back a quarter. I know I don't do this exactly perfect, but my results, I've never had an, too big of an issue other than the, sometimes the wood gets a little too soft and can't actually hold a thread. And when that happens, I have some... Uh, inserts that I can drill this hole out, pop the uh, thread insert in, and if it's something that you've already bought and it fails, or something doesn't hold right, I can always get it back to my hat place, drill it out, glue in a threaded insert, and then everything is fixed and she's ready to rock and roll again. So from that, I can take this guy. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm going to come around to the back behind my phone. I can try to get this to see if you guys can see it. Here we go. You can see the threading right down in there. That's what I just cut into it. And then all I do pop this on my mandrel and then I can actually just rotate this in and it pulls everything in nice and tight and I actually have a fair bit of force on that now and then we just turn this like any other spindle project just like our pens 
honey dippers, tops, mini bowls, because a regular bowl is actually a different type of turning. It's a different discipline, takes different tools. Like I can't use these rough and gouges on bowls. I try to on some big mistake. And yeah, and then we just make a pretty shape. Some of these I just leave plain. I think this one I'm gonna do a little bit of a gouge on it. Turn that down to about, like I said, about a thousand. I didn't say in this video, but I have many times before. That's smooth enough, I don't need my rough grit. So we're gonna go straight into 120. And here's our thousand grit. I apologize. I've just kind of zoned out. Happens when I sand.
Alright, so there's that. We got the paper towel and get my finish ready. And while I'm thinking about it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my videos and the channel. Uh, any any inputs always appreciated. What you like, what you don't like, um, things of that nature. And yeah, with that said, we are going to burnish this up and then finish it where we seal it and do everything I need to do to make it ready to sell. And I'm actually gonna put it together right here because I got a couple pieces in a bucket right next to me that I'm just gonna grab out to put it together. And it'll be on my table and probably the next craft show that I'm at. Mm. All right, so now we're gonna heat this up it's an alcohol wax mix the alcohol goes in flashes off it's getting nice and hot to set that wax <clears throat> I use the exact same stuff on all my wooden pens And then we're going to do the final beeswax coat. We're going to throw a little extra on there. All right, it's all nice and shiny smooth, super duper hot too, so I'm gonna let that cool off for a minute. While I look and see what my options here for are for putting these together. Book screw stopper. the ones out here so that's what we're gonna throw on it if I would have known that I would have left the bushing and made it slightly differently but yeah. only difference is aesthetics
Alright. Sometimes these seize up really hard if you get them hot, which is what you want to get all the finish to set. And now if I can get this in there before I lose too much extra heat, it will lock down even harder. And there you go. And that is a fully assembled bottle stopper. I will wash this up because normally I do this with clean hands. And this one happens to have a corkscrew built in. So you pop it in, pop your cork out, sip and enjoy. But yeah, so. So yeah, cat in the hat, and that be that.